When you want to limit the records based on several field conditions, you do so by setting criteria in each of the fields that will be used for the scope. When you want to use AND between two or more fields, place the data across the same row. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design. Add the table Vehicle Sales. For example, let us write a query to find trucks sold in the year 2020 in Washington. Criteria is specified in the same criteria row of state, year and category columns. Enter WA in state column, 2020 in year and truck in category column in the criteria row. Run the query. It returns records where category is truck, year is 2020 and state is Washington. In the ribbon, click on view and select SQL view. Look at the where clause. There will be an AND between column criteria. When you want to use OR between two fields, you place the criteria on different rows. For example, to see all vehicles sold in Washington and trucks sold in all other states, use R. Enter WA as the criteria for state. Enter truck in the R cell under category. Criteria entered are not in the same row for state and category. When you place criteria on different rows, Access interprets this as an OR between the fields. This query returns all vehicles sold in Washington and only trucks sold in all other states. Open the SQL view and notice that placement of parentheses in the WHERE clause. Values in each row are placed inside the parentheses and OR between the rows. Either condition, state equal to WA or category equal to trucks can be true and the record is returned by the query. Moving trucks to the same row as WA changes the query's logic to return trucks sold in Washington. Now look at the SQL. In the WHERE clause, OR is changed to AND and the placement of parentheses is also changed. Run the query and only trucks sold in Washington are returned this time. You can use AND and OR together in a query. Let us see how to create a query to display cars sold in Washington and trucks sold in Texas. Enter WA in the criteria row in the state column. Enter TX in the OR row under WA. Enter car as criteria in the category field. Enter truck under car in the category field. Notice that WA and cars are in the same row. TX and trucks are in another row. This query represents two ANDs across fields with an R in between. Run the query. Each row is evaluated first. This query returns essentially two sets of data, cars sold in WA and trucks sold in Texas. Enter Nissan in make column and CA or NY in state and 2020 in the criteria row. Now, when you run the query, Nissan models sold in CA or NY in 2020 are also displayed. You must enter CA and NY in the same row as Nissan. If you enter CA and NY one below the other, the query treats NY as a separate R. It displays all vehicles sold in NY in any year.
to return only nissan sold in 2020 you must enter nissan and 2020 in the same row in the make and sale year column where you entered ny you can enter any number of criteria criteria entered in the same row are interpreted as and each row is interpreted as or for example we entered criteria in four rows look at the sql created by access look at the where clause values from each field in the criteria row will be interpreted as and finally or between the rows if you like this video please subscribe to our channel